Historically, South Africans have been poor savers. However, the onset of the pandemic, coupled with a historical economic downturn, has placed the importance of saving under the spotlight. And for some South Africans, the reality has hit home. Many people may find the prospect of saving to be very overwhelming, but small actions taken in the present can catalyze big changes in the future. Understanding and appreciating this principle is the key to developing better saving habits. I'm going to mention exactly what you need to achieve by each age to be on track to achieve a successful retirement. There's so many different articles and information about how much money you should save by which age but that really depends on your exact situation everyone's situation is different and everyone's upbringing is completely different never compare yourself with anyone else just focus on getting started because the earlier you start the better off you'll be with that said, let's jump into the first one. So if you are 20 years old, there's a couple of things that you need to start focusing on immediately. The first thing is to start building credit. Credit is very important as you progress in life, whether it's for buying your own primary house or using it to invest in property as an investment, you need to start focusing on building a good credit from a very young age. If you can focus on building credit whether it's using a clothing account or something like a credit card, this will help you to get ahead of most 20 year olds. The second thing is to start opening a retirement annuity or a pension fund. Depending on your work situation, I would suggest starting with a retirement fund as soon as possible. The earlier you start, the more you will benefit. This is also a great habit to set in place to help you to start your savings savings journey. The third thing is to start saving one to two months of your expenses. Again, this will be different for each and every individual, but let's say your monthly expenses is 5,000 Rand, I would suggest setting a goal to save at least 5 to 10,000 Rand to cover your expenses in an emergency situation. The more you can save at this age, the better, but I would start with one to two times your monthly expenses. The next step is to start investing as soon as possible. This is probably the most important one in my opinion because the sooner you start the better off you will be. Investing can be scary for so many different reasons but the earlier you start the better it gets. The cool thing is that you can also start investing in platforms like Brockstock or Easy Equities with a minimum amount of 50 to 100 Rand. So if you can only invest 50 Rand start with that amount because it's better than nothing. If you can tick off all all of these boxes I mentioned, you are better than most 20 year olds in South Africa and you are on track to reach your retirement goals. Next we get to our 30s. So the first thing we need to achieve by this age is to have a credit score of at least 680. The average in South Africa is around 560, so if you have a credit score of 680 or even above, you are more financially disciplined than majority of South Africans. This is a really easy goal to set and to achieve by your 30s. Then the second point is to have limited or no bad debt at all. By the age of 30, you should preferably have zero to a small amount of bad debt. But let's be realistic, most 30 year olds have car debt or even primary residence debt. So limiting your bad debt in your 30s is a really good way to get ahead of most South Africans. Then you should have at least one full year's salary saved up in a high yield savings account. So let's say you earn 25,000 Rand a month, which is 300,000 Rand annually, you should have close to or more than 300,000 Rand saved up by the age of 30. This is obviously not possible for everyone, but set high goals. Even if you fail, you can still get close to it 
if you put in the effort. The important part of your 20s and your 30s is to live frugally and live within your means to limit your expenses and to save and invest any additional money that you make. Then preparing for your 40s you should be able to save at least 20% of your monthly salary. This will set you up in your 40s to be able to achieve the relevant goals. This should also be much easier by this age because you live within your means and don't overextend yourself financially. Then we get to our 40s. I like to think that in your 40s you are probably in the prime of your life. Most people think if you are 40 years old you are old but in my opinion you are probably the wisest earning the most amount of money and have life figured out hopefully by this age. So the first thing you should have achieved by this age is to own your primary residence. Again, this can be different for everyone. Some people prefer renting because there is definitely advantages for renting in the short term, but owning your own house or your own primary residence in your 40s is definitely a achievable goal you should set for yourself. Then you should also be able to max out your pension fund each and every month with your employer and contribute the maximum amount allowed. By doing this you are setting yourself up to reach your retirement goals compared to most South Africans that don't have any retirement savings. Another goal should be to reach your limit on your tax-free savings account. So your tax-free savings account is around 500,000 Rand in your lifetime so you should be able to reach or be close to your maximum amount in your tax-free savings account. Then the last one which is really important and probably the most difficult one of all you should be able to invest six times your yearly income. Again using the example of 25,000 Rand a month or 300,000 Rand a year obviously most 40 year old salary will be much higher but just as an example 300,000 Rand multiplied by 6 gives you an amount of 1.8 million Rand. You should be able to have 1.8 million Rand invested above your initial savings. 1.8 million Rand should be invested in whatever vehicle you choose but it's preferably something like the S&P 500 property or even bonds. Then we get to our 50s. This is getting close to our retirement age and these are probably the years that we need to maximize every part of our savings. So in your 50s you should be able to save at least seven times your annual salary. So let's say for example your annual salary is 500,000 Rand multiplied by seven that is 3.5 million Rand. You should have at least 3.5 million Rand saved up in a high yield savings account to account for emergencies and any other expenses. The more the better obviously but setting a goal of 7 times your annual earnings is a really good starting point. Then by this point you will also be very close to having your house or primary residence paid off which is a really good way to build equity. Above that the house price should have probably increased in value which effectively increases your net worth as well. If you preferred renting a property unfortunately you will not benefit from the equity but it should be possible to save that money in a different vehicle. Then last but not least you should have a clear indication of your living expenses going forward. If your living expenses is still increasing drastically in your 50s you basically overextended yourself financially from a young age. So the most important tip is to live within your means. Don't overextend yourself financially to impress people that you don't even like with money you don't have. So keep your living expenses low and by the age of 50 you should know exactly how much it costs to live within your means.